Well, hello everyone, here we are with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 review, and this one is on uh, Boba Fett Starship, or originally Slave 1, as we're used to. So, on the front of the box here, we see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and that nice board that we've seen since last year, and picture of the set flying above some jungle planet, of course, and the two figs included, and Disney logo. And age recommendation 9 and 9 plus. Set number 75312 has 593 pieces. And if you look to the back, you see a picture of it in a resting position and all the features of it and the logos again. Yeah. So on the front of the book, on the booklet, same picture on the front, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey, and the pieces that come with the set, three pages, and after the Skywalker Saga game, after all the mini things in this upcoming, or I mean this current summer wave, of course, and after some of last year's and this year's Mandalorian sets, of course, and the last steps. So for the two figs here, mini figs here, do have an all new version of Boba Fett and the Mandalorian, of which same as from the uh, Treble on Tatooine set, and also does come in two other sets of this wave, of course. So, but ex of what it is exclusive to him is the uh, spear, of course, and also the cape piece, which I think is exclusive. I'm not sure though. But yeah, but as for Boba Fett here, it's all printed on black, of course, and dark green, which may be a little misguided, but I think should have been sand green, like the helmet and jetpack, of course. And also, it does have the uh, Alien Conquest blaster with a lightsaber hilt on it to represent his different blaster, of course. But all the printings of which done quite nicely. You see, plain, still doing plain black head for Mando, of course, and Boba Fett's a witch. All new to him, but does look quite well, does well suit him. And also, if you can notice, is a witch side arm printing, including one with the Mandalorian insignia on it. Kind of like the Cloud City Boba Fett's did. And as you see, it's a little blaster there, or with Mando, of course, but yeah. Although, what I think they also could have included was another Dark Trooper as suiting to some scenes in the show that involved this Slave 1, of course, or maybe uh, Fennec Shand as well, but maybe that'd be a little too much for this set, but yeah. First of all, for the builds, is get this little uh, gantry type roller thing. And it seems done pretty well for that. Like, as you see, a couple levers to it, and of course, enough space to stand a fig onto, of course, and also flat studs for lights, of course. And also a couple of jagged sloping right there, and what the ladder does is get up to whatever for, and also a lot of them like grill plates for that. And also a couple of the, I'm not sure if these are new or whatever, which are one by one uh, cheese slopes that are jagged on both sides. Quite interesting and neat for mocking, of course. And from the bottom are the uh, rounded dish pieces in clear, 
Oh, it's always nice and does move around well. Although there is a reason why these are all on here, which we'll see later, but yeah. So on to the Slave 1 itself. Which, as you can see, uh, done pretty well. Although kind of similar to the smallish version that came in the 2018 Cloud City set, but a little bit smaller. But it's just like the X-Wing and TIE Fire and Titanium Shell from the Winter Wave of this year, but just a small downscale version. But they were all from the original trilogy. This is for the Mandalorian, of course. And also, just like that version, has a lot of those uh, rounded kind of brick pieces, but few, two of which have stickers on. There's a lot of sticker, very few stickers in this set, of course, which I like. And if you look on the sides, is you see General ja Side Jagged Sloping, just like the uh, 2019 version, of course, and also... Some nice uh, knock here, and also neat new corner piece there, which must be all new to it, I'm not sure. But at least it'll be quite nice for mocking, possibly for like a new V-Wing or whatever. On the side of which, quite the same perfect symmetry. And of course, does have these smallish turrets, of course. And of course, stud shooters on the sides, and... Also, the cockpit area, which you can open up there, and has a good printed, yeah, printed uh, cheese slope piece for a control panel, of course. And a pair of studs are actually here. Or, yeah, a pair of studs here to, or enough space to fit your Boba Fett minifig in, of course. And as, as you see, it's kind of the same technique as the 2019 version and other versions had. These like rounded corner bricks, of course, but just smaller versions, of course. And if you look from the back, you see a whole lot of see the same pieces, but in trans orange, and also they like hold through kind of stunts. That's also acting as boosters, of course. And you see these technic beam for there, where you can pull out, and it's a little handle, to, and it's good to swoosh around, of course. But as for the wings on the sides, oh, it's done pretty goodly. And also quite spendable, of course. And although they do interact with it quite well, like, do fall into place, of course. Oh, oops. Fell off. And so now, what it, these, this piece is for is if you have this side build, just place it there, and also put it on there, and it has a nice stand. Kind of like the 2015 UCS Slave 1 kind of had. But yeah. Big, kind of the same, but just a smaller, lesser extent. And as compared to the 2019 20th anniversary version, as you see, Quite a good bit smaller, and although, oops, let me get back in position. Also, as you see, kind of bits like half, half as small, of course, which they are doing for these these current waves, of course. And of course, kind of a downer that there isn't any sprinkle of bonters, of course. There's neither special hidden compartments like the other versions had. But at least the wings of which both have some bit of greebling to them, of course. And as for the back part, which does have some like blue uh, thrusters to it when this had orange, of course. Even though it kind of had blue in the show, but yeah. Oh, also forgot to mention this. 
that you can lift this part up and also like other versions where you can slide carbonated Han Solo out of on the sewage has a Gamorrean Guard in carbonite of course as just like the Razor Crest set from last year had of course it's been quite nice to do so and of course fits quite well into it So now on to with the final verdict on this exam. Oops. So overall, this I think is a, a quite good set for it was it like like a course all new updated version of Boba Fett and and of course it, the Slave 1 that is much smaller and a little bit more affordable although kind of odd how it's not called Slave 1 but Boba Fett Starship but whatever maybe they'll keep it or rename it Slave 1 in the future but yeah hopefully next year or so or next couple of years or so there will be one a new version of Jango Fett Slave 1 which we have been asking for since forever. But besides that, well, although I think some other big, other figs here, like a dark trooper of course, also would have been nice to include. But yeah, and also at least quite in size and price per piece, of which even though it does have a few more pieces than that of the oh what. Okay, Mandalorian Starfire from this current wave, as you see, see, has very few more pieces and kind of a little larger for that. Kind of odd how that is, but I can kind of forgive it for that, but yeah. And so, that's, and so now if you are looking to get this set for your Mandalorian collection, definitely pick this up. And if you can find it anywhere in your area, definitely pick up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.